Hi, welcome to another episode of the Mike Page Doodle Club. Today we will be drawing a seahorse, so follow along at home and see how your horse comes out. Don't be afraid to make some mistakes, uh, just stick with it and keep going. To begin our seahorse, I'm going to make, you can think of this almost as a letter S that's been really flattened out, somewhere between an S and a lightning bolt. That is going to be the seahorse, this is his forehead, and this will be his uh, long snout leading towards his mouth. Um, from here I'm going to make kind of a backwards number three, like that. That came out a little bit bigger than I wanted because I'm using a sharpie, but that's okay. We're going to keep going. And then I'm going to make another line up. And then I'm going to make his jawline, which will be sort of like that. Uh, I think next I will make his belly. So I'm going to come down here. Seahorses have very large bellies that protrude quite a bit. That's what gives them so much character in my book. Um, next, he's going to want a tail, or she. Your seahorse can be whatever you'd like it to be. Then inside of this, we're going to spiral our way back out and basically just try to stay kind of parallel to what you just made. Like that. I'm making a, a regular seahorse. There are several different species. If you wanted to make a leafy sea dragon, they are kind of similar to this, but with a lot more um, noodly coral reef looking things sticking off of them. So if you want to make yours one of those, go for it. And his back is going to be a little bit wobbly. And then we're going to make sort of a frilly, fin kind of thing going down his spine like this. And seahorses have a fin on their side. I believe it's right about here. And I'm going to make three lines together like that. And then connect them like that. And then your seahorse will want an eyeball. Um, I might even give mine both eyes at the front right here. Like that. If you want to give him eyebrows, you can. Um, and I think I'll make some sort of ribbed lines along his belly because they tend to have some lines along there. Give him a little bit more detail. And my guy with his giant snout is going to be playing, playing his seahorse trumpet. Because they have to be able to do something cool with that big mouth. And then if we want to put him in an environment, we can make some lines across there for the ocean floor. You could put some shells down here. These guys are going to be the castanets providing the percussion, maybe, for his music. And maybe we want a little fish swimming by as well. Give him a goofy little smile, because he was caught off guard. He wasn't expecting to see a seahorse jazz show today, and he just happened to stumble across it. That's kind of fun.
I hope you enjoyed following along at home. Maybe yours is doing something different, but I really enjoy New Orleans uh, style Dixieland jazz, so I kind of pictured him sitting there playing a trumpet. Um, thanks for following along. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow for another episode of the Mike Page Doodle Club. All right, kids, now that you've finished your doodles, color them in and then share them with both Mike Page and Medfield TV. We're going to take those images and we're going to put them all over our station. Can't wait to see what you guys make. Mm -hmm.